Four days from now will mark one year since this red tide outbreak first hit. And in that year, the harmful algal bloom has been detrimental to beachgoers and beach business. We have team coverage right now as we learn more information about the toxins in the water and the measures that local law enforcement are taking to keep people safe. We begin with Taylor Torregano live right now in Siesta Key. And Taylor, what have you learned from researchers that are trying to pinpoint the algae's effect on our health? Well, Scott, researchers have already determined that the toxins produced by these harmful algal blooms do affect our health. Now they're trying to bring their studies here to the Sun Coast to measure the exact extent of those impacts. Very, 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 very scary. On August 31st, Dan Warren woke up with what he thought was a minor cold. I was coughing a little bit, uh, nose was running just a tiny bit. Within two to three days, I was suddenly very sick. It was terrible timing. Four days before a three-week vacation to Italy, Warren was diagnosed with bronchopneumonia. That was very scary because the night before I saw my primary physician, I was like, this is really not normal. And uh, I was actually sort of afraid to go to sleep that night. The rapid progression took even the retired nurse by surprise. Among many other symptoms, his chest was tight and making an unfamiliar wheezing noise every time he took a breath. Now nearly a month, a canceled cruise, and a lot of antibiotics later, Warren has finally recovered enough to tell us he thinks this was a direct effect of red tide. And now I have to wonder if this continues. I mean, is it going to affect us or myself and others, you know, on a longer? Is it going to be an ongoing? Are we going to be subjected to possible upper respiratory infections, irritation? They're questions the Florida Atlantic University Harbor Branch hopes to answer. Researchers have just launched an effort to bring their studies to southwest Florida with the goal to pinpoint the exact risk to public health these harmful algal blooms continue to pose. For now, doctors say it's still unknown. I'm not sure anyone knows because it's it's supposedly a short term or an, an, acute, an acute trigger. So, but I think with any kind of chronic daily exposure, it, it can't be good. Now, FAU researchers have partnered with the CDC in order to bring their studies here. But in order to do this, they need volunteers and donors. If you're interested, I've put a link on our website. Just visit mysuncoast.com. I'm reporting from Siesta Beach, Taylor Torgano, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Taylor, thank you.